Hello friends, welcome to Suresh Agarwal's Mathematics Shortcuts. So how many short tricks have you learned before by watching the videos on this channel? I think you may say like 100, 200, 300. We have yet another short trick in this video. This time I am going to multiply numbers ending in 3 virtually in a single line. Yes, in a single line. So I'll try uh, to test myself and take huge numbers also and try to multiply them in a single line. Keep watching the entire video. Do pay a visit to www.sureshagarwal.in. We have a huge number of PDFs of, uh, you know, ebook of short tricks and reasoning course, CBSC practice worksheets for class 6 to 10 students. You know, we have a, a huge number of uh, PDFs for uh, practice of your concepts. You can send me a message on WhatsApp also 9896369963, but pre be prepared and willing to invest a little bit on your education. Okay, friends. So let's see some of the questions. Suppose you have 43 times 73. So just forget this 3. Okay. So if you have to multiply them, uh, we use a technique called P3S9. P3S9. What is this P3S9? P stands for the product of the first two digits. That means 4 and 7 multiplied together. This will give you 28 obviously. 3s means add means sum. Sum me of 4 and 7 is 11. And 3 times that. 3 times the sum. So that is 33. And 9 obviously is 9 itself. Here's your answer. 9. 33 means 3 retained and the 3 carried over. So, uh, 28 plus 3 is 31. Pick up your calculators, come on, and check. You will be surprised. Let's take one more example. Let's take 123. Now, I'm testing myself with a, uh, what, three-digit number. And I want to do that, uh, the multiplication with what? Uh, let's do it with uh, 43 again. Let's test it for 43. So, in place of uh, the first two digits here, we have 12 and here we have 4. So 12 times 4, that product is 48. And uh, if you add them, you will get 16. And 16, 3 times is 48 again. And 9 obviously will be there. So 9, 8 and the 4 carried over. So 48 plus 4 is 52. So 5, 2, 8, 9 is the product. Check it. Let's, uh, let's have a huge number. 573 times 403. Three digit numbers ending in three. Okay, we have 57 and we have 40. So, what is the product of 57 and 40? Obviously, a zero will be there. 4, 7 times is 28, 8, 2 carry, and then 22. So, double 280 is the product. And for 57 plus 40 is 97. And three times that, 97 is 3 less than 100. So, if you do three times, it will be 9 less than 300. So, 291. And finally, we have the 9. So, what's the answer? 9, 1, and this 29 carried over 29. So, that makes it 2309. Okay, 2309. And the answer for the question is 2309192963 times 18. So, I don't know the 18 times table, and I just know the 8 times table. So, I know that when I multiply this 8 by 3, I'll get 24. So I'll keep on writing the products here. Now there's a small catch which you all have to be careful about. 8 times 6 is 48. And when you approach the second digit from the right, 8 times 6 is 48, you have to add the next digit also. And that's really, really important. So 8, 6 are 48. And then add 3 to that, you get 51. Now that's how the process will work. So let's carry on the process. 8 times 9 is 72 and add 6 to that, you get 78. I think you can write that very quickly. I'm taking time just to explain it. 8 times 2 is 16 plus 9 is 25. 8 times 4 is 32 plus 2 is 34. 8 times 4 is 32 plus 4 is 36. 8 times 7 is 56 plus 4 is 60 and then the last digit 7 this is to be written as it is here okay 
Now, once you have written all these uh, digi uh, numbers, which you can write very quickly, I'm sure, because you know eight times table, right? Now, next step will give you the answer. Keep on retaining the unit digit in the answer and carry forward the tens digit. So, two carried, carried here. So, 51 plus 2, 53. 3 means 5 carried. 83. 83 means 3 and 8 carried. 33. 33 means 3 and 3 carried. 34 plus 3 is 37. So, 7 and 3 carried. 39 means 9 and 3 carried. 63 means 3 and 6 carried and 7 plus 6 is 13. So for me, the answer for the question is 133973334.